my lovelies and welcome to my channel Weird is the New Black. My name is Kat and this is a state of play reading for your person. So these readings are intended to be timeless and if this reading does not resonate please hop into the playlist which is in the description box below and treat it like a giant pick a card. Okie doke. So it's a state of play with your person at this moment in time. What does spirit want to bring forward about this individual? Okay. So, the computer. So either they're working on a computer or they're watching you online is what I'm getting here. Uh, they may be contemplating whether to message you as well for some of you. We've got the rocket at the bottom of the deck. If they do, I feel like it will come through quite quickly. Um, they might also be watching you take off is what I'm hearing, um, watching you sort of elevate yourself, which, which is good. That's good. Well done people. <laughs> For those of you that resonates with, um, I feel like you are taking off and that's how it's feeling. Yeah. They might be feeling some kind of way about this though, with the toxic can at coming out here. Or I really feel like they're not expressing these emotions outwardly, though. This is an internal um, sensation, an internal feeling. And I'm hearing the word bitter. So some people might be feeling quite bitter about this or unhappy that you're doing well is what I'm getting. Um, and you've got the hand at the bottom of the deck because I feel like some of you have said bye-bye. <laughs> I really feel like some of you have said goodbye to this person and that is why they're feeling this way potentially here as well. Yeah, I'd be careful as well here. There, there's, there, it feels like there's some kind of warning here in terms of your online security is what I want to say. Maybe you need to rethink your passwords if they're obvious or, um, yeah, maybe just watch your back when it comes to people hacking into your account is what I'm hearing or somehow trying to mar your progress or um, some kind of contamination online. Um, so it could, it could also be um, sort of negative input is what I'm getting as well here. So yeah, just be wary of that. That's quite a lot about you and not about your person, but I just feel that that is important to say. And maybe that your person has to do this too, has to, to watch out. Or I feel it though that it's more that they're feeling quite toxic about something um, that they've seen online. It might not have anything to do with you. It could be to do with something else, but I feel that that's the case here. So we've got the bright spark light bulb. I feel like somebody's having an idea and it doesn't feel like a good motivation. It could be, however, for some of these people, I think that they are beginning to understand that they may have been toxic in this way, maybe in their communication with you, especially if it was like mess messages online or emails or comments, that sort of thing. Um, and I feel like there is light dawning um, with this person in terms of maybe past action as well. But they're feeling bad is what I'm getting if that resonates for you. They're feeling bad about this. We've got the dove of peace, the dove of love at the bottom of the deck. And I feel like they want to make right if that's the case. Um, and if you had that sort of negative or toxic interaction, like in terms of messages, I really feel like that they may, they may want to make things right and they're beginning to to wake up to see, I'm hearing waking up and smelling the coffee. Oh, okay, there's a few wanted to pull out, but I'm gonna take the first one. The storm clouds. Wow, it's mixed up. This is really mixed up energy with this person. 
this person is feeling quite turbulent, is feeling quite changeable, under a cloud is what I'm hearing. So I'm feeling that there could be some kind of depressive energy here. It's certainly suppressing. They're certainly suppressing something is what I'm getting from this reading so far. Use your intuition. I think your intuition is really strong and I'm feeling that you are aware of this energy if that's the case. We've got the trophy. Okay, so what I'm feeling is that there's some kind of competition with this person and that this person is feeling competitive towards you and quite turbulent about and quite toxic about the fact that you may be doing well. I'm getting that for some of you, you may be doing well and this person is feeling um, lesser or depressed by your gain. So this person is very much sort of interested in your energy is what I'm getting and they might be praying and praying for your downfall here. So just be wary. Just be wary. Whoever this is, um, it's very... Um, I feel like they've got an idea of how to mar your success or how to disturb your gain or your elevation. And it could be to do with work. That's just thrown itself into my awareness at the bottom of the deck with the work bag at the bottom. So just be careful. Um, be careful here. Oh. So we've got the, the strength card for me in this deck and that really wanted to pop out here. So they feel very strongly about something online here. Um, something that they feel, it feels like a weight in terms of, obviously it is the weights, but it feels like weighted, the energy feels weighted and pushed down and suppressed. And I feel like, and we've got um, Cupid's arrow at the bottom of the deck. I feel like they can't, they can't hit their mark um, because this energy is kind of heavy. It's it's keeping them down. It's keeping them. I mean, we've got the light bulb is the only sort of lighter energy that I'm getting here. There's a strong sense of like metallics coming through and and stone. And yeah, I'm, I'm just feeling that this person's energy is heavy or depressed. Maybe um, maybe that you are at a distance, it could be, or, or maybe that, that it can only perceive you online. So there's many hands here. So I feel like there's a strong a sense of community going on here. Now, maybe you've got a strong community around you and that's what's making this person feel quite toxic, uh, the strength of your community. But I think actually that they are strongly influenced by toxic people around them, a, a collective energetic is what I'm getting, who all have a certain opinion. Yeah, they, they might have a certain opinion on you. This is like following the crowd kind of energy for me. Um, or maybe they've decided that that's what you're doing. But I'm really feeling that there's a real individuality about your energy with the unicorn at the bottom of the deck and really feeling that what you're doing is something special and therefore this person is having an issue the spider's web so i think they realize that they are caught i'm hearing caught in a bad romance <laughs> wow so some of these people might be caught up in what they consider like a negative romance. I don't know why that's coming through, but that is relevant for some of you. But I think they're all caught up in their head. Um, I really feel that their own inspiration is impaired by their viewpoint. And I feel, I feel like they fear judgment. Um, 
or the strength of the toxicity of a number of people. It could be that your person is experiencing some kind of online bullying as well as what I want to say here. And I feel like it's it's shedding a light, if that's the case, it's shedding a light on this person's sensation of feeling trapped. I feel like they're trapped, they could be dealing with the toxic group, toxic people, there's definitely a sense of toxic people around this person, um, more than one for sure, and that they are feeling caught up in their head about this. Um, and and they're and depressed and it's preventing their own success it's preventing them from getting ahead in the right ways it's almost like there's strong com competitive energy coming through like a sense of needing to prove um prove themselves here <laughs> we've got the um we've got the broom coming out and this for me under the cloud says like a, a lot of argumentative energy so i feel like this person is is in an argumentative space and they realize that they're caught in in between a toxic crowd and and consistent arguments here and it could be with one other person but more maybe several um and yeah this this is very turbulent energy and with the broom that that feels like sudden arguments as well maybe sporadic um because clouds they come and go so they might be feeling like they're winning one minute and then they're turbulent the next there's quite a lot of changeability uh going on with this person and we've got the ear at the bottom of the deck, so it could be to do with something that they've heard or something, uh, or maybe you've heard this. I, I feel like what they're hearing, they don't like, or they've heard something through others, maybe. Here's Cupid's arrow again. So they do want victory and a love situation they do want a victorious um accomplishment achievement they want to hit their aim they want to hit their mark um in terms of their heart but there's a lot going on with this person it could be to do with their family with the tree at the bottom of the deck so this could be a family situation that they're caught up with and there's a strong sense of like sort of social pressure is what I'm getting from this so we've got the flag here I feel that they are they really want to make it to a particular goal but they're kind of having to concede defeat because they feel really burdened something is really burdening this person and it's to do with something that I think that they seen online or maybe to do with their work or to do with with what they're doing online a community that they connect with online potentially as well here and they are feeling very very burdened and they're trying to hold on to hope though with the star at the bottom of the deck but I'm really feeling that this person is is kind of exhausted a little bit prickly uh, is feeling possibly, you know, really out of sorts, really out of sorts. Oh, there's the devil. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> Why am I not surprised? The devil's in the house. Um, yeah, they they want to... I feel like there's a negative energy and it's coming from other people is what I'm getting. Um, I feel like your person is feeling negative, don't get me wrong, and maybe like bitter about something. But this is, it's the strength of a group of people that is kind of pushing, pushing their energy low and making them feel really defeated. And I, I feel like this devil is really trying to make your person feel like they need to give up or that they need to or that they don't have the strength 
um, to deal with something or continue with something here. And, I, and again, I am feeling that your person might not be feeling very well. Uh, and that feeling around the solar plexus that it's very mixed up or very turbulent or it's like that a horrible feeling in the stomach is what I'm getting. Um, and that could be anything here. And the devil also traditionally associated with like bondage, codependence, um, and addiction as well. Um, so the bin, oh God. Yeah, really, they're really struggling. Their self-worth is really low at this point in time because they feel really caught up in their head. So... I feel like that they had a they, they've had a good idea. It's it feels like something goes right, then wrong, then right, then wrong, then right. It it feels very up and down with your person. They're caught up in feeling bad, in feeling bad about themselves, in in feeling like maybe they are toxic or that. They're tempted to throw away. Um, if they're tempted to throw away people who are toxic, this is not a bad thing. <laughs> Spirit is like, we'll take the bags out for them. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. Again, we've got the star at the bottom. So I do feel like this is actually, you know, part of a healing process is what I'm getting. And it's come out again. So they want to clear up or clear away. Um, they want to sweep away what with the broom and the bin so close by I, and the cobwebs as well. I just they, they want to clear out and feel refreshed and feel rejuvenated and feel better. But I think it it requires resolving um, to get rid of toxic people or to sort themselves out in terms of their self-worth here and we've got at the bottom of the deck we've got the skulls so it could be that your person's in a grieving process or in a state of feeling that things are oh, I'm getting empty or corrupted and praying hands came out again. So they really want victory in love. And I, I can't help but feel that this is with you. They really want to overcome or win at something. And they're really like asking for help, I think, from spirit with this. And, and trying to clear their energetic field as well. Maybe move out of this sort of turbulent, depressive energy. Whatever the hell's going on here, it involves a number of people and it's very negative, and, but they are trapped within it is what I'm getting. And maybe they're being rubbished or made to feel rubbish. Um, and that's, yeah, that's, it's not okay. They, they, they want to chill out and they want to relax. I really hope your person is not being bullied in some way or undermined by a group of people um in this day and age i really it's extraordinary that people do succumb to those like underhand measures but there is underhand energy around a person that you cannot help but i mean that's clear as day here with this devil card and i feel like it's the devil on their shoulder as well so they've been defeated in some kind of movement or travel is what I'm getting. I feel like they strongly want to give up on something and and move away and travel, pack their bags and leave is what I'm getting. They want to pack up, they want to go, they want to give up. Um, give up on something. I hope they're not giving up on their own self-worth though is what I'm getting. I'm also hearing the. I'm also hearing baggage. I feel like your person has baggage, and it could be to do with stuff in the past or a number of people um, here. But there is a strength to it. Um, 
and your person needs to be single-minded at this point is what I'm hearing but this devil is trying to make them feel defeated instead of feeling uh, this devil feels to me like it's trying to make this flag at one of surrender instead of one of like reaching an aim or reaching the end of a, a journey or like overcoming something and being able to depart from that energy this devil is almost like keeping your person in this space with um, a number of people who I don't think are showing their own toxicity so this could be like a group of people who don't articulate their unhappiness or their issues this baggage relates to the past though because we've got the photographs here so for me that's about nostalgia and I really think that yeah this, this is a there's something going on here that is that needs to be let go of to do with the past. Right. Oh, the rat. Oh, my life. The hell. So I feel like your person's being undermined and possibly gossiped about and possibly somebody's undermining. I really this could be this could be a particular person who's part of a group here who's attempting to stop your person um from attaining a goal um that would require them moving or departing could be that work that they're thinking of departing from but they've got a they've got a strong they've had a strong feeling about a destination that would um result in freedom is what i'm getting but in, there is somebody or maybe more than one person that feels very much like undermining your in your person negative toxicity or talk or gossip or like yeah sabotage there is sabotage here. And I feel like your person is being prevented from moving by some kind of dark force energy is what I'm getting. That is is designed to, to kill their hope and their faith. This is not nice energy. Could be some witchery going on here. I just have to throw that in there. It doesn't always come up, but I'm feeling that it could be relevant here. Creativity. So they've undermined your person's creativity. They're, they're kind of rubbishing their creative energy um, in order to try and prevent or energetically block. And this could be something to do with your person's work again with the work at the bottom of the deck and I really it's almost like I really don't want your person to throw away this creative energy they they just they have these great ideas but I feel like they're trapped in feeling unworthy or feeling toxic or feeling undermined or if it's not them being toxic it's it's others it's others nearby. Brick wall. My God. So yeah, they they're being prevented or blocked. They feel very blocked. Creative block. I mean, <laughs> that's clearly what these cards are saying. There's a massive creative block here. Yeah, and I feel, I feel like they're blocking out their own hope as well in this process. Some, no, to be fair, some of them are trying to rise above this. They're trying to rise above this turbulent energy. They're trying to elevate that energy by trying to aim for love, trying to aim for a connection with spirit. They're trying to get higher is what I'm getting. But they are being creatively blocked here. And it's because of how they've been made to feel by a group of people. 
or people who are um, hollow or shallow or subtly undermining your person. And there is a subtlety about it. It's stealthy, this energy. So yeah, your person, I think, wants to break free. I want to break free. <laughs> I want to break free. Want to break free from your lies, your soul, self-satisfied out of me. Right. So your person wants independence and they are feeling prevented from doing their own thing here. They're really like, there's, there's almost a conglomeration of energy that is attempting to keep your person chained, bound and unable to move forward. And I think this is more than one person. It, this is a group of people or uh, fans online or a, a, a group of people that your person works with or that is involved with. But there is toxic energy within this group. And it could be one person that's hiding and undermining. But I, I'm getting the feeling that it's more than one person here. And there is strong devil energy related to your person's ability to feel creative and express themselves i feel like your person is quite artistic and they're being blocked at the moment because of some kind of turbulent argumentative antsy prickly kind of energetic and i think i feel like that actually is a lot to do with where they're at and how they're feeling but yeah, they do want independence. They do want the ability to, they, they want freedom of movement is what I'm getting or, or yeah. So they're, they're, they're hurt by something here with the plaster showing up, hurt by strategy. There's some kind of strategy that's got your person trapped. Um, but I think your person's not really realizing that actually a lot of this energy is coming from their own mindset of feeling unworthy somehow, unworthy of their own expression or their own creative talents. And maybe that com the competitive energy is what is engaging your person's toxicity. I feel like your person feels like they need to win or they need to be yeah, they need to get to the finish line is what I'm hearing. So the pin. They are pinned down at this point in time. And I feel needled. Again, that sharp sort of needling energy. Um, I don't feel like this person's willing to open up at this point in time. I feel like they may be possibly defending themselves. Yeah, they're locked down with the lock here. Um, I feel like... There may be arguments around this person and then they shut down and it seems to be sort of going on and on. <laughs> if you can hear banging, that's my cat going <laughs> absolutely mental in the background. So he's just launched us up against the door and bounced off it again. That's so much fun. Um, yeah, your person is feeling locked down. So possibly a third party situation here or shut out. Um, by by you if you're that third party or yeah or maybe um, maybe they've created or undermined um, a group situation possibly with some uh, online toxicity I mean they could be watching things online that are like low and and you know maybe they're into porn I, I'm not altogether sure but but there is some kind of low energy involving um, online activity here. And, and I feel like this is really undermining your person. And it could be something they're creating themselves or something that, that is um, being done to them or like d designed to bring them down or to make them weak is what I'm getting and it could be a third party that's doing this as well and if that's the case I feel like this person is not giving anything away 
but actually it feels very toxic um, is what I'm feeling from that. So one on the third party spirit before we... So it could be a water sign here is what I'm getting. But um, yeah, there's some kind of upset or they're really hurt about a third party. And maybe if you were that third party and you've locked them out, then then they're really upset and they're really, really going through it at the minute. Um, going through it. And if they behave this way, then I feel like they're kind of getting getting that in return. Yeah, they're really upset about some kind of direction or some kind of plan that they had that I really feel has not worked out and possible plan to move towards you if you're a female or um, it's hmm, or if you're a male, I feel like this third, third party energy of this undermining energy is possibly uh, a female and we've got the gun at the bottom of the deck and I'm hearing shot themselves in the foot so maybe your person has injured injured themselves here or got themselves caught up in something that is very negative and very corruptive of their creative force and their creative energy if so they are blocked by spirit um i just can't help feeling that this is something to do with their environment in either a work or job situation or a family situation is what i'm getting but i feel i feel that they're in a very nostalgic frame of mind i'm pulling loads of cards i feel like there's a lot going on and they they do want to move to calmer waters and towards love and possible communication um here but there is some kind of barrier, there is some kind of block, their hope is really, they're really pressured, they need to clear things up, they may be feeling turbulent about it, they may need to like steady themselves. Um, I feel like your person needs to recover somewhat actually. Wow, that was a slightly crazy energy, let's see what what the cards have to say to you. Okay, so we've got the bells. I'm feeling like a really light energy, actually. I'm hearing a little tinkling sound, like the fairy bell sound. I feel it's nice. I feel it's a lightness. Uh-oh, we've got the skull, though. So maybe there is a union that has ended here. Um, and then a moving away. I feel, it feels... Does it feel does it feel that bad to be completely honest? There is some grieving happening here though, is what I'm getting. Really not sure about this. I feel like you're at the point of a new beginning. And I feel like there could have been an ending to, to a union, could have been with your person. And I feel like you're putting a brave face on this, but actually there's a fair bit of grief going on here because of some kind of ending. And you're looking to move at speed and possibly move home or move work here, but maybe having to play it like cool, at the minute having to keep um keep things incognito is what i'm feeling keep things on the low down under the radar and it's it's because you want a new beginning it's because you, there's a seed of something new being being grown here but you are moving away from whatever this whatever this grieving process or this ending is um, that could have caused a lot of sorrow. You're moving away at speed and things are changing for you and you're settling. There's there's an energy that, we're, that you're moving towards in terms of like feeling settled or feeling grounded in your space, in your work situation. Um, but I want to say like keep it real and be on the alert 
here. I feel like there's there you're affected by this other person's energy and there's just something undermining that could be close by to you that you might not be seeing but something is disguised or someone is disguised or maybe that they're watching and keeping a low profile i feel like this this person there could be like some kind of stalkery energy going on here as well which so for some of you just just be aware of that um I feel like you need to call out anything that you don't see as above board. That's what I'm getting from this situation. So it, it's a bit complex, this situation. I really do hope that that resonated. I feel like um, you're dealing with a partner or a counterpart or a twin with this one. And this is all about divine masculine, divine feminine sovereignty in this situation. Like getting to a point where you are elevating and you're taking ownership but and you might be careful that you don't give too much away if you are planning a move um, in terms of work or house I feel like there is a need to keep things like close to your chest at this point in time um, there's a lot of toxic energy around your person and things are a little bit fragile and I just feel like that there is transformation going on here for both parties. Anyway, really hope that resonated. It was a, a bit of a long one, but thanks for listening and take care, my darlings. <laughs>